A steel cable dangling from a traffic light whipped and smashed the windshield of a Colorado Springs woman's car over the weekend. She's speaking out after the city told her it's not liable for the damage. News 5's Andy Cohen watching out for you tonight. Andy, so what's the city's reason for not wanting to pay for the damage? Governmental immunity. The city claims that it, the city claims office, I should say, investigated this case, but they couldn't find any negligence that led to that cable snapping and falling. Still, it's frustrating for Alex Holden, whose car is getting repaired as a result. It was just a quick trip out to get some tacos. We were heading to Fuzzies on Dublin over there. But when Alex Holden passed through the intersection at Dublin and Templeton Gap, something cracked her windshield. So many things ran through my mind. It was like, did I get shot at? Did a, did a rock fly up? I have no idea what happened. It turns out that a suspension cable keeping the traffic light in place snapped and fell. And when she hit it, the cable whipped around and hit her car. Alex called to report the downed cable and the dispatcher gave her the number for the city claims office. They came out and did an assessment card to see if they would file a report and then I got a call back within less than 24 hours and they told me that they weren't liable um, due to it not being something they did. A spokesperson explained that when the claim was investigated, they didn't find any improper work or reports of past problems at the intersection that went unaddressed. Under a governmental immunity, the city isn't liable. It's their equipment that failed. Um, and cause damage. So Alex said that her car insurance company told her they will cover the repairs. She just wishes the city would take responsibility for what happened. Understand that the city has to look out for themselves, uh, but I feel that the little people need to be heard too. And Alex said that she witnessed at least one other car go through that intersection that same night and hit the same cable. She wanted to go public like this in hopes of warning other drivers to be alert out there on the roads because freak accidents like this can happen. Watching out for you, Andy Cohen, News 5.